Hello there ladies and gentlemen, Sigil here and welcome back to another video. So in this one we're going to fight Boss Dr. Fate to begin with and I don't really want to interact with this mechanic too much so I'm gonna try to stay away from that. So I'm gonna try to kill him with Batman the Drowned with God Killer equipped so it's the easiest fight ever. However, with only a level 6 crown, I don't think I yet have the passive stats to be able to do that. So we're going to add the Twin Blade uh, Batman Flaps into the mix. My bad. So it's okay. Tag this man in. He can tank super move, no problem. Bro, can can I can I actually hit him though? Okay, okay. My bad though, my bad. Let's get the go. Let's get back in final form. I just didn't really know or I didn't process what to do with his super move at that point. Okay, super move, and now this man. Okay, come on, let me let me get the two hits in, okay? Bro. There we go. Though I don't think it's all of it, still, I don't think it's all of it. Also, since I'm disabling his block, I could pin him in the corner with Batman Flaps. Slap down and keep hitting him. Okay, now we're done. Now we're done. Yeah, I played this kind of bad because I lost some damage due to the percentage of damage being done kind of late into the fight. Definitely could have played this better and could have gotten more out of Twin Blade than of Laps. So my bad here. And now the question is, is Batman the Drowned damage gonna be enough? Because that's all we got. And it's only at 11 mil per second. That actually is most likely not gonna be enough. Y'all need a cleanup fight against this man. And that in itself is gonna be a bit problematic. Because I would usually clear with Manta and Mr. Freeze. But none of them are gonna have that great of a time, I think. Mr. Freeze, because of uh, the mechanics that I don't want to interact with. And Manta, because yet again, the mechanics I don't want to interact with, because um, he is going to um, need to use specials in order to get some stacks for Joker Ice Bat Ranks, and I don't want to do that. Well, that's as far as this one goes. Definitely my bad here, definitely one shotable, but I, I messed up at the start. I tried to kill this man with King, and I have Nora Snow Globe on King, not for the clones, because this man, after you use three specials against him, you essentially have three specials to use. Like, exactly the same in function as the Puppet of Zatanna effect. However, it, it's not infinite power you're getting, you're getting the cost of your special swapped to health instead of um, energy. And whenever you run out of health, you're going to no longer be able to use specials. And North Snow Globe is going to heal me a bit, so we're going to effectively try to counteract that. Do I have a level 1 North Snow Globe? Hmm. Hold on a second, let me see if I can upgrade this. I can't upgrade this, so it's going to be a level 8 North Snow Globe. And yeah, it's supposed to heal us to counteract the damage we're taking, and uh, we're supposed to have virtually infinite specials with all the downsides that this man brings. I feel like this man's mechanic kinda really sucks because Puppet of Zatanna exists, and you're gonna be like, Oh wow, I'm gonna be able to have Puppet of Zatanna, but worst against this man. If Puppet didn't exist, and don't get me wrong, I'm glad it exists, but if that didn't exist, this boss would be pretty much the only place in the game where you could have infinite specials. Okay, you got all the balls.
And it's pretty much literally the same gameplay as the Puppet of Zatanna. Am I increasing health or decreasing? I think I'm slightly increasing. So I need to be mindful of a couple of things. I don't have unblockable here. I'm not blinding the enemy, so I'm taking damage. And my damage is not gonna increase much further from this point, because we're not applying damage against target negative effects. So I'm not sure if this is going to be enough, but we'll see. I hope it will be. Oh, yeah, not unblockable. And that swiped it. No, I got the disabled. Um, yeah, he's got the balls back. Sucks. I healed a bit with Shazam, but it's gonna be a struggle getting back with King. Without being low on health at that point. Okay, okay, we got it back. And yeah, ne never mind. Norris Snow Globe actually saved my ass over there. Because King would have straight up died because he did not have the necessary power to revive. Come on, give me back my balls. Okay. Really suck that that swipe did not connect. We literally lost because of that. A good almost one minute of the fight. And it sucks because if you mistimed it by such a small amount. Yeah, look here. I yet again mistimed it. And the game lags like kind of crazy. Like I played as bad. I'm kind of making up excuses though. But the game lags as soon as I get all the balls. It lags like crazy, and if you miss type it by 0.5 seconds, that swipe is gonna get blocked. Well, sucks. One more fight. Okay, this is a risky one, because I'm have, gonna have Joker as veterans on Manta, and I'm gonna use specials eventually. I'm hoping that before I get killed by huge amounts of dot, I'm actually gonna kill him first. That's the gamble we're doing here. Also, the Green Lantern shield is supposed to help, because even if I'm sitting on one HP because of the dots, because it doesn't affect the dot, doesn't affect the shield, it directly affects me. But even if I'm sitting on like one HP because of the dots, if the shield is still up, I'm good. Oh no! I forgot he does super move earlier, because he's got the passive for some reason. That was like, yeah, I'm just gonna match his super move. And this is, this is extremely bad. Is he stun immune though? That's what I wanna know. It looks like we can stun him. So that might be, that might be the saving grace of this match. Stunned again, we didn't lose the passive stacks either. There we go. They could have like played the whole fight like this. Because I'm only not going to be able to use specials if I get all the three balls and I have no health. I can be sitting at one health and just keep spamming special and the balls kind of reset at the end of the fights. Mixed feelings about boss Dr. Fate. It's an interesting fight, but it's at the same time low-key annoying. Yeah, okay, let's see what we got here. Also, there's a Power Girl live and that's... Gonna be kind of the main purpose of this video, as you'll see in a second. But this man gave me a Ninja Harley Quinn. Do I have her maxed out? Yes, I do. But yeah, let's move on. Okay, so I could give an in-depth explanation to what's gonna happen here. But I'm, I'm just gonna sum it up in some very simple words. 
you activate Puppet on something, it's gonna go crazy. And we're gonna use Multiverse Summer Super Girl. Though keep in mind, as long as you're able to activate Puppet against this boss, this works on every single character in the game against this boss. You just need to activate Puppets. Because you, you, if you spam specials, she keeps taking more and more damage from specials and it's actually gonna get insane. We just need to activate Puppets. <clears throat> Green Lantern is there just to give me some dot damage. On the third special. She's also blind, so let's... Take advantage of that. Oh boy, that did not sound well though. Okay, watch this. So we're just we're just using puppets, multiverse armor, supergirl, nothing too special, right? And the damage keeps increasing. It keeps increasing. It keeps increasing. Eight mil. Forty mil. Fifty-three mil. One hundred mil. Two hundred mil. Four hundred mil. And it's back to normal, because as soon as that kind of timer ends, uh, it's gonna reset, basically. They don't want to risk Multiverse Summer Supergirl dying there. Boy, she's crit resisting a lot, though. Third mil. 56 mil, 112 mil, 222 mil, let's go 400 mil, and back to 1 mil again, because it resets after some time. And I don't think that's even the highest we could get out of this one, because you need to catch it and keep spamming it right after it resets. My bads. And 453 mil on that last one. Just wonderful. It's not a bug or a glitch, it's literally the mechanic of this character, because whoever designed the mechanic of this I either did it on purpose or was unaware of Puppet of Zatanna. But yeah, let's take a look at the rewards as well. But yeah, this is very fun. I'm all the way in the heroic uh, 6. I was unaware of this. Some of you made me aware of it in the comments. We got... Oh, wow. Multiverse Captain Cold. Just going to use uh, Raven here with Beta Club and Sword of Sin on Brainiac. Kind of a brain dead, brain dead team, I know. But it, it'll get the job done. And I don't like Boss Cyborg too much. I don't think I like any boss in this tier. This tier is the cursed tier of the Soul Raids. Every single boss is garbage to fight against because of various reasons. And it's not like they're entertainingly hard to fight, they're just annoyingly hard to fight. Need to keep an eye on the sort of sin burning because he's got fortified, so we need to keep that reduced. Okay, we might as well wait for super move here. Okay, 47, so it was... The Super Novel Raven is so strong. It got the damage from 30-something to 40-something. Almost 50, just from doing Super Move. As you get more, a lot more out of it, depending on the amount of darkness stacks on the enemy. Yeah, I don't think I need more Brainiac stacks. I think I'm fine. I think this is a reasonable amount. And yeah, that is both Cyborg down. Now let's try to fight Vixen again.
Okay, so I'm not delusional. I don't expect that Zakana to survive for long. But she's available and why not use her? That's that start fight animation is never gonna stop being cursed. The back hopping Bro, 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 please have mercy. Arlie's almost dead, bro. Arlie's almost dead. God, I hate her so much. Why is she getting stunned, though? Uh, someone explain? I'm pretty sure she did not manage to hit me with anything. Because I'm... Again, she got stunned. Why do I stun on specials? Like, I'm not complaining or anything, but um, I'm just wondering why do I have a random chance to stun on specials? Because I know she does. She for sure does have a, a random chance to stun on specials. But that seems to be applying to me as well. Okay, Zatanna, time for it to go. Oh, she got one shot by that super move. Who would have expected? But yeah, she did a great job. We have all the damage buff. Just don't stack Harley into any situation that could be dangerous. Not even a situation where she might have to combo and drop. But still, I have no idea why was I stunning with Zatanna's specials. I don't think it was stun reflect because if, if, if it was stun reflect it's only an 80% chance so I should have gotten hit by it myself from time to time. Yeah, really no explanation. Maybe the passive that gives her a chance to stun on specials applies to you as well. And it's not something you notice a lot. But yeah, that's Vixen down and that's gonna be it for this video. Thanks so much for watching, like it if you liked it, dislike if you liked it, and I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye!